Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what's going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. A Prayer to Stay the Course by Chelsea DeMatteis Read by Leah Martin Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 The Battle of Jericho has become a favorite Bible story in our house. This comes as no surprise as we have an almost five-year-old little boy. We read the story, sing the song, and act out the walls tumbling down. And while this story easily captures the hearts of little ones, its incredible theme of obedience often falls to the wayside as we grow older. For that reason, this past summer, I decided to go through my five-year-old's current favorite book of the Bible. To give you a bit of backstory and context, Joshua was the one whom God appointed to lead the Israelites, who were God's chosen people, into the promised land after Moses passed away. You'll see in the opening chapter a command of the Lord given to Joshua that most Christians are very familiar with. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 This may be the most memorable part of the entire story of Joshua, next to the walls of Jericho tumbling down. And why? I believe it's because we too need this reminder as we navigate the places God calls us to go, whether that's the mission field across the world, within the states, within your church, or within your home. We must be both strong and courageous. Strong and steadfast in our faith as we trust God's promises. Courageous as we walk into the unknown with God who knows fully. We must be obedient and willing. Obedient to follow the call no matter what. Willing to surrender the way in which we think things should go. We must be unafraid and stand against dismay by standing upon the living, active Word of God. As Joshua's story unfolds, we see many other stories unfold within it. We see God's people choosing to live out the very same words He commanded of Joshua. We see this in the obedience of Rahab the prostitute, the two spies sent into Jericho, and the whole people of God who faithfully marched around the city for seven days. I felt both encouraged and enlightened when I read this story. But I also felt deep conviction. Do I live like the people of God in Joshua's day, where the Lord has called me now? Am I genuinely seeking to be strong and courageous in Christ? Or do I choose the more comfortable route? What took place before and at the Battle of Jericho was anything but comfortable. It took an enormous amount of faith and trust in the Lord to do all He commanded. 
Not only that, but once those walls came tumbling down, God was only getting started. We have 18 more chapters of watching God command his people to obey, submit, be strong, and stand firm. You'll see the wrath of God, the love of God, and the leading of God on display in ways that will cause you to look at how you live for him. Do we live strong and courageous, or do we live so comfortable and content that we pass by where God's directing us? Do we store up things that God tells us will lead to our destruction, or do we live from a posture of knowing we can trust our Heavenly Father who holds all things? Let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word and the way it captures our hearts. We praise you for the stories in scripture that draw the youngest souls. I pray that the Holy Spirit would use Joshua's story to change the way I not only live, but also the way in which I lead. I pray to be a follower of Christ who chooses to be strong in the faith and courageous wherever you call me, because you, Lord, hold all things. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com.